Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today is the last day of carb depletion. Wednesday, October 25th, I believe. I think it's 25th. So let's get the day started. There is meal number one, probably the only meal that I will have before heading out to the gym. And today, like I said, it's the last day of depleting my body of glycogen and really super low carbs. And what I'm going to do today is not try to hit 100 grams of carbs. I'm going to try to hit as low low of number of carbs as possible. Probably going to be with you know 40 around 40 grams of carbs. I'm going to try to be as low as possible with that today, since it is the last depletion day. And what I have here for my meal number one is six servings of egg whites. The egg makers six instead of five this morning. One whole egg uh, with some Texas peat right there in the pan. And then I have one serving of broccoli and half a serving of almonds. And that is going to be my first meal and pretty much the, the only thing I will eat before going to hit the last lower body workout before my competition. So I'm about to dig in. Yum yum in my tum tum. <laughs> Everybody's just waking up, but uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, today's a rough day. It's the last one, right? The last one. Yeah, uh, I just had some egg whites and broccoli and almonds. That's about it. What? What? Earlier this morning, she had a cup. This same, is it the same mug? Yes. Same mug. She had it sitting up here in the, before I started cooking this morning, sitting right here. And I went to grab my, this carton of egg whites that I always have sitting here, dumped it all over the, dumped it over. All over the floor. All over the floor. So, yeah, that's my problem. You gotta think about those things when you're, saying, this is JC's game. Uh, I have some of those pops, but uh, yes, I'm gonna when I when I do this thing, my forearms like they get really veiny and blow up. So I want to have that backstage stuff as a tool to use to pump up. Hopefully they don't mind. But we are getting ready to go to the gym. Today is going to be a lower body workout, so I'm going to mix up my pre-workout and then we're going to head off to the gym. Let's go do legs. Give me the grand tour of the whole place and everything, and you know why I'm doing this channel. The JC Flake Studio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then she's like, "Oh, well, this is really cool." Like, I, I just was paranoid because you know. You can go to jcflakes.com at four slash tickets if you want to buy tickets. <laughs> right, tickets to the <laughs> to, to the museum. I could I could probably open a museum because uh, <laughs> and, and they call it a tax deduction. <laughs> <laughs> the JC Flakes Museum. <laughs> so far out is because I started very conservative. I started at 300 grams of carbs and I just like slowly progressed down with my carbs and, and my fat. All right, so I just finished up with my posing and also done like a quick little interview with JC. So I think he recorded my posing. I didn't record anything. So if you want to check out the posing footage from today, three, three, Wednesday, three days, four days, three days out, whichever one you want to call it. Um, you can go over to his channel and also kind of like a little mini interview about the prep and the competition and things like that But we are about to get started on today's leg workout. So let's get it Here we are guys the last leg workout of this 22 week competition prep and last lower body workout uh, of this prep three days out from a competition and what I'm doing, you know, the, this is the last day of, of carb depletion as well. And the whole point of this and the whole point of these workouts is to really deplete the muscles of glycogen stores. So, of course, you know, like you see me here, I'm not going real, real heavy at all. I went up to 225 on squats and the intensity was probably 50% of what it normally is in my workouts. You know, I'm just focusing on the contraction of the muscle. 
and then I'm squeezing, not really even getting a pump because I can't get a pump because I'm depleted. And my whole goal here is to do exactly that. The past four days have been depletion, and during my workouts, it's been me, you know, about 50% intensity of what my workouts normally are, trying to just get rid of all of the glycogen stored inside of the muscles because, and that, you know, that's why I feel super flat like a pancake and I can't really get a pump. And the point of doing this is so I can have a successful carb loading day on Thursday and Friday because Thursday and Friday is when I'm going to reintroduce carbs and start carb loading up to hopefully peak uh, you know, get the best physique I can possibly get and peak on the day Saturday of the competition. But, you know, this, this leg workout was super, super light and, you know, just trying to really get rid of the last little bit of glycogen in my muscles. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. We just finished up with that leg workout and... It was very, very light. I'm pretty, I'm just, I'm just out of it in general, but it's uh, very light and pretty low on energy, but I'm about to hop up here on the Stairmaster and do probably about roughly 30 to 40 minutes of moderate intensity stair stepping. So let's get to it. I got my little dots on here. 40 minutes of cardio. It's complete. I'm like, I don't know how it done. I don't know where the energy came from. So I'm dead. We're about to head home. I've already I'm out of this is my first gallon, pretty much out of. I've been saving it for I've been saving it through the workout for this when I got done with my cardio. So we're about to head home and I will uh, I will catch you guys when we get back to the house and I fix up some sort of food, so I will catch you guys then. We get back. JC, what are you having? <laughs> JC, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. And go ahead and tell what you're having. I don't know. So I'm having a. Uh, it's called a no car, no cow bar. It's got um. Uh, 27 grams of uh, carbs, 5 protein, and 20 grams of protein, or I'm sorry, 20 protein, 27 carbs, and 5 fat. It's pretty good. And it's like a mint flavor. They, they make mint? all kinds of them. Yeah, it's really good. Do you good. have any other ones? Oh, dude, I got a whole bunch. Different flavors? Yeah. Okay, I don't really like mint. I mint. Oh, no, no, I've got like uh, raspberry truffle and lemon and all kinds of stuff. What I am going to have is 8 ounces of baked chicken breast, plain baked chicken breast, right here in this bowl. I just ripped it up because I'm going to add some Walden Farms Honey Dijon. I have one serving of broccoli, one serving of cauliflower, and also I'm gonna add some Texas peat to the mixture with the chicken. So on my baked chicken, I'm gonna put Texas peat and that uh, Honey Dijon Walden Farms Zero Calorie. Just kind of whoosh it around, and you know, it's gonna be yum yum in my tum tum, and just eat it with a fork like it's shredded up, so. There we go. And JC's teasing me over here, you know, again with some peanut butter. I'm having, yeah, peanut butter, uh, um, rice. rice cake with uh, jelly and stuff. So, <laughs> but, he, but he is baking up some chicken. So I'm about to eat this up and then I will, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Probably do some editing, but I will catch you guys here in a little bit. Cooked up some tilapia, just you know, baked some tilapia, and then I um, so it's like eight ounces, so two servings of tilapia, and I've had a total of like uh, like 35, 35 grams of carbs so far, and I'm gonna kind of be pretty much uh, taper that off. I might have another serving of broccoli, and that's gonna be pretty much it. And I'm just gonna finish out my protein and my fat. So I have probably like about 10 to 12 grams of fat left. And I have not entered this in my fitness pal, but I had like 80 grams of protein, so I am dwindling down. JC's over here editing. So it is time to finish off the food for the final day of depletion. So 
Ooh, what are you cooking? Cheese. You got cheese. Yeah, that's unhealthy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that smells super unhealthy. So what I'm gonna have that's super healthy, Hello. delicious, and nutritious, scrum diddly umptious. Did you move my fish? So there we have it. That is what I'm going to have as my final meal to end off the macros for today. I'm gonna have this, and I'm also gonna squirt some a little bit of peat. There she is. Tilapia fish mush with Texas peat. So that is it. For today's macros, I have about a quarter, probably a little over a quarter of a gallon of water left. I'm about to snack on this, or I guess eat this, and then here in about 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna get in my last cardio session. So I believe me and JC have found the secret to finding your inner abs. It's right here, look at this. Go ahead and show them. This is amazing. Find your inner abs, and all you have to do is eat the powerful yogurt, and the power in the yogurt will give you abs. And they even have a drawing of what abs look like in case you haven't seen them in so long that you forgot. But so they didn't put them in braille. That's sad. It's not in braille. But we're gonna, we're gonna, the, the, those are the like, the Greek, I don't know if it's Greek yogurt. It's the powerful yogurts that y'all have seen me eat. 21 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein, something like that. But JC's never had it, so. I've never had it, so here is a taste test. Let's see here uh, what it looks like. Give us a good. Oh, wow. Is it no, good? it tastes, it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. Like it? It's good stuff. Order now. Who knows what the inner abs are? That must be the transverse abdominus. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop on here and um, I'm gonna do the elliptical. And. Now while supplies last. <laughs> <laughs> Act now, and you will get your inner abs. But I'm about to, I'm about to get on this elliptical and finish off my cardio. So let's, let's do it. Nothing. We're not having anything. If it's not video, nothing. <laughs> We're not eating anything, Justin. Nothing at all. Nothing to oh, see hate here. Smile. Keep moving, please. His nothing to see works here. Real good. <laughs> He's capturing the whole. So I just finished up with about 40 more minutes of cardio. I'm out of macros. I have about one sip of water. Lies, all lies. And. <laughs> JC, Ren, they're about to be no, grilled no. on. We're not doing anything. It's we're having almonds. Fine. Would you just look at that? We're having almonds and lemons and, lemons and bananas. And like this. That's it. That's there really all it is. <laughs> now they're lying to a blind man. <laughs> yeah, what the? What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Justin, you They're can have eating. some of this in, in, in like 96 hours. You can have some. There's of not going to be any left. That's well, right. That's true, but um, you got that touche, right. touche. Another day down. Two more days to go, but these two days, well, I guess it depends what you want to say. I guess if is do you count one day? One day, yeah. So it's, tomorrow's going to be two days out. Today's three days out, but Thursday, Friday, so tomorrow and Friday are not going to be that bad because tomorrow I'm going to be able to eat about 290 grams of carbs. So uh, of course, you guys will have to stay tuned and, you know, stay tuned for the carb up and the carb loading process Friday, Thursday and Friday, the carb loading process to hopefully blow up, make the muscles round, blow up and peak on stage on Saturday morning. So I look the best that I've looked the past 22 weeks and, you know, really, you know, hopefully the best that I've looked in all 22 years of my life this is you know hopefully the best physique that i have ever had and i want to peak on saturday morning and when i get on stage about 10 a.m i have my reese cups ready everything is ready to go the carb depletion process is done thank goodness today i ended up eating about 35 carbs i think that was it so 
that is going to bring it to an end. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned because we are on daily uploads until the competition is over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if it is your first time stopping in on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for the love and support. And keep getting stronger.